Hey guys, it's Kine. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title, is going to be a wig tutorial on these rolls. Nope, not back rolls. These, these are actually called victory rolls. They were a style that was popularized in the 1940s. I did my little modern take on it with this full pink fantasy. I'm using this new hair that was given to me by Princess Wigs, who is sponsoring this video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a review for you guys and then getting into the styling of this hair. So if you want to see all of that, then just stay tuned. We're going to jump right into the video. This video was kindly sponsored by uh, a company called Princess Wigs and they sent me this peach pink synthetic lace front wig, which I'll show you guys. As expected, it comes with a little hair net, a plastic bag to keep it in, and also a wig cap to wear with it. Just reading this off the website here, this guy is 22 inches long and made with heat resistant fibers. Seeing it in person, I feel like it's definitely more of like a cool toned, kind of like a dusty rose type of pink as opposed to a peach pink, but I still think the color is gorgeous. And if you look up closely, um, it's kind of like a few different shades of pink that's built into it as opposed to just one solid color, which I always really appreciate. Plus this website is really cheap as far as synthetic lace fronts go, so you can check them out. I'll link them down in the description. This is what the hair looks like straight out of the bag. Of course, this wouldn't be a wig video if I just put this on and showed you how pretty it looks. I'm gonna show you guys how to take it from this to some vintage 40s inspired victory walls. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I pinned the wig into the wig block. All I just have are some pins going around the lace and then two in the back to keep it secured from all sides. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl it with some rollers. So as always, I'm taking a section that's about the same size as the roller, making sure there's no knots or anything in it so the curls come out nice and smooth. And then I'm just gonna start wrapping the hair around the roller and then roll it up to the roots. Then we're gonna pin it in place with some long straight pins and then do this all over the wig. Okay guys, I put all of the hair up in curlers and this is what it looks like. Really nothing too complicated or special, just make sure that you brush the hair so that when it goes in the roller there's no knots or anything in it so it comes up nice and smooth. And then now I'm going to set these in place with some steam and I have a garment steamer over here that's just heating up. It looks like this, you could probably buy one for like 30, 40, 50 dollars at like any department store. If you don't want to buy one of these, I have a video on how you can steam your wigs just over a pot of boiling water on a stove, but I highly recommend you just get one of these, if you, especially if you're going to be doing wigs on a regular basis. It makes your life so much easier. And basically, steaming the curls is just a way to get them to set. Just like how you would use um, heat on human hair, this is a type of heat that can be used on any type of wig, whether it's heat resistant or whether it's just the cheapest, poorest quality. All wigs should be able to take at least this much heat. And what I like about this method, as opposed to using like a curling one, is that the curls just have more time to set in place. Like you can just leave it overnight. Um, whereas like with a curling wand, it kind of just falls down right away and it looks a little bit messier. And what I actually like to do to make it a little bit faster is I get myself a big plastic bag. You can't see, but I just have my hand under the bag like this with the steamer inside of it. And you can kind of just play with the bag, maybe move the head around to make sure that the heat is circulating evenly through the entire wig. Basically, we're just creating like a really, really hot sauna under this bag, trapping all the heat around the wig and really setting those curls in place. It's been a couple of minutes and I can tell just by feeling outside of the bag that it's really hot in there. So basically what I do now, I wait about like five or 10 minutes for all the steam to settle. If I took this bag off now, you can see a bunch of steam is gonna escape. So I wait until all the steam is kind of settled. So maybe like five or 10 minutes. And then what I do is I take the bag off and then I just leave it like that overnight to air dry. If I left it like this to air dry overnight, it would be wet when I took it off because of the condensation of the steam. So I don't like to leave the bag on overnight. So the next time you see me, it'll be the next day, but just know that I let these curls dry overnight without the bag over top of them. Day two. Okay, so this wig has dried and fully cooled down overnight, so I'm ready to take these curls down. And something I've actually been doing differently recently is instead of taking all of the rollers out and then teasing it then, I actually like to start teasing it um, one by one as I take each roller down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each individual curl out. Looks like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start teasing this, just lightly back combing. And I just feel like this helps me be a little bit more organized with the hair so I'm not dealing with it all 
at once. Of course, the top parts that we're going to roll into the victory rolls, we're going to do something a little bit different with, but for now, just lightly back comb each section of hair as it comes out of the roller. And aside from also teasing it, I'm also going to be brushing them out too. So after I tease it, I'm just going to really softly brush it out into the rest of the hair so there's no frizz or anything on there. This up here is going to be the hair that we're going to put up into those rolls. I have four, four, and then two on each side. You can do more or less depending on how big or small you want your victory rolls to be. I'm going to unroll these and just like the other hair, I'm going to tease it, except I'm not going to tease this underside of it. I'm going to tease the opposite side of it because it's going to be rolling inwards. So you always want to tease the side that's um, opposite to the side that's going to be seen from the eyes and the reason we're even teasing this hair at all is because if we just put it into the victory rolls now it would just easily slip out of the bobby pins and fall flat so the teasing not only gives it more height and volume but it allows it to kind of hold on to the style a little bit more and last a lot longer So I want to do one victory roll on each side, but instead of doing it in a middle part, I want one of them to be just a little bit bigger than the other. So I'm going to actually take this row of rollers and kind of like split them in half. So when I take this down, I'm going to take this half and put it over to this side. Then the other half, I'll put over to that side. So I'll show you what I mean. When I take out this roller, I'm splitting the hair in half. And this half, I'm going to tease separately. Then I'm just going to do the same thing, teasing the other half of hair. Okay, so I have the two halves of hair here. They're all teased up and ready to go. The next step now is going to be to brush these nice and smooth and roll them into the curls. And the goal here is to get the hair into just one big unit as opposed to all the multiple little strands that you teased up. And you can see we're working with a lot of hair here, probably more than you would ever do if you were doing this on your real hair, but I like to have tall hair. So then once you feel it kind of beginning to smooth out, not only from the front, but also from the sides, because you're also going to see it from that direction, you can start to roll it down into a curl. So I'm grabbing the hair here and I'm wrapping it around my fingers and then I'm just going to start rolling it down just like that. It takes a lot of kind of moving around and adjusting it but once you finally like the way it looks you can put a bunch of pins in it and then move on to the next roll. So the same exact thing here we're just going to brush it out into one big section except now we kind of want to be a little bit more gentle with the hair since we have this over here that we don't want to disturb. So you can see when I need to brush it out, I can hold onto the root so it's not pulling at the wig. I'm rolling this a little bit tighter too because I want it to be just a little bit smaller than the one next to it. And then I want the rolls to be right next to each other, just like that. And I'm going to pin that together. For the sake of making it look good from all angles, you're going to want to also look at the sides and the back of the rolls. Make sure they're spread out and covering up any tracks that may be left. And I'm just brushing out any flyaways and making sure it's all perfect before I give it a final seal with hairspray. You also want to make sure that inside of the holes there's not like lots of hair that's just popping through. So I'm gonna spray the inside. And if you have something that like fits nicely into your hole, then you can do that to make sure all of the hair is kind of like flattened against the walls so you don't see anything in there. All right guys, so this is the finished hairstyle. I'm gonna go change into some 1940s inspired makeup and outfit, and I'll be back to show you guys how the wig looks on.
All right, guys, this is the finished look. I decided to go for all pink everything. Thanks again to Princess Wigs for sponsoring this video. Um, I believe I do have a code if you want to save an extra 10% off. I believe it's kind 10. I'll put it on the screen right here. But as always, all the info is going to be in the description box. Be sure to check out my Instagram online kind for some more pictures of me in this look, as well as all the makeup details I usually post on there if you're curious as to what's on my face. I hope you guys like this video and learned something cool today. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Low. I always really appreciate it. But until next time, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!